good morning students uh, so today we will discuss uh, the rest of the uh, types of money okay so uh, first you see the non legal tendered money okay now in the uh, previous uh, class we have discussed about legal tendered money that means uh, legal tendered money was that particular money which has general acceptability that means it's acceptable by one and all and uh, moreover it has the support or it is supported by the law of land that means the government has given its approval the authority the law has given its approval on that particular piece of paper to be called as money and that particular money is called as legal tender money yes all the currency note that we have today all these are what legal tender money now the non legal tender money is the just opposite of it okay that means those uh, thing which are used to make payment or as a medium of exchange but these are not supported by the law of land okay so here you see when the general acceptability of the meat of as a medium of exchange has no legal support it becomes non legal tender money okay like uh, example of non legal tender money is your check okay credit cards debit card these are used for making payment these are used for our as a medium of exchange but these are not supported by the law of land okay so that those money are called as your what non legal tender money then you see fiat money fiat money means fiat means uh, order okay so fiat money means the authority or the power of the state okay money supported by the fiat of the state is fiat money that means uh, similar to legal tender money that means uh, which that money that has been ordered by the state state here means the government the authority the law okay so that particular money which has uh, got the approval or which has got the order of the law that is fiat money okay then you see token money okay so listen carefully this one token money is what when the face value or the written uh, value or embossed value of the money is higher than its intrinsic or metallic value okay now face value means have you seen a currency note or a coin okay whatever the, it is written suppose if you take a 10 rupees note then on the top of it it is written 10 rupees if you take a 100 rupee note it is written 100 is not it okay so that is called a face value okay and uh, intrinsic or metallic value means that uh, piece of paper okay of which this uh, currency is made of or a coin is uh, made of okay that is the actual uh, metallic value or the paper value you can say that is the intrinsic value or metallic value okay the coins they have a metallic value because the coins are made of some metal it's not that is the metallic value similarly the paper currency that the paper that is the intrinsic value okay so one is the face value that is the written whatever it is written on the um, currency note or coin and an another is your intrinsic or metallic well it means uh, of which uh, the value of which uh, it has been made okay it may be metal it might be some kind of a paper also so in case of a token uh, money okay whatever the whatever is the face value it is more than the intrinsic value so here you see one example you see this is a token money okay so now what is written uh, on this 100 is not this is the face value okay this is the face value here this is 5 rupees this 5 is the face value okay these are the face value now this paper okay do you think this paper is actually this paper is of 100 rupees no okay or whether this coin this metal okay this metal of which the coin is been made is this equivalent to 5 no yes so that is basically token money okay that means here the face value is more than the uh, intrinsic value that is called your token money so these are actually token money examples okay then you see check money okay now check it is a non legal uh, tender money why because check we use it for making payment as a medium of exchange but it has not got the support of the law of land yes have you ever seen in the check it is in government of india or have you ever seen that it is uh, signed by the uh, rbi governor no it is uh, provided by the respective banks commercial banks yes so that is why it is called non legal tender money because they, it has not got the support of the law okay so check uh, you see it is a non legal it is not legal tender money and individual may refuse to accept uh, payment in check yes because it is non legal tender money somebody may refuse to accept okay to the check but money currency no it never nobody refuses to accept it yes because it is a legal tender money so there is no violation of the law of land a check is a claim against money 
check is encashed at the counter of the bank although check is not money yet the fact remains that check is being increasingly used as a medium of exchange okay so because it is a non legal tender money it is not it has not got the support of the uh, law so anybody uh, may refuse to accept the check okay and it will not mean any violation of law okay but if somebody ex refuses to accept currency 100 rupees 10 rupees no then it might be a violation to the law because that is a legal tender money and all of us know that if we want to convert our check into cash then always we go to bank is not it so that is if you want to convert our our n cash our check we deposit in the counter of the banks so then you see this is uh, one format of a check money okay so next you see standard money okay so standard money is a unit of money the value of the other money units other units of money are related uh, to it in india rupee is the standard money one paise is a unit and it's it is one percent of hundred paise so standard money means uh, the unit which is uh, used for making payment in a in one particular country the standard unit okay the standard currency now it is rupees so rupees is standard monetary unit that is why it is the standard money then you see hot money okay now this is uh, in uh, one thing you see hot money so money that goes out of the country in the face of socio economic disorder or uncertainty in the country is hot money it is affected by speculation it is the money on wings it is known as nervous money okay so some people some investors are there who uh, they invest money in different countries okay in order to make profits yes so if uh, any country uh, the uh, socio economic or uh, political situation is not uh, good or it is a uh, disorder disbalanced okay then uh, they will uh, not invest in that particular country so that particular money which is supposed to come in the, in that country because of the socio economic disorder it goes out of the country yes that is basically your uh, hot money okay then you see dear money dear means expensive okay costly yes now when money is called as a dear money you see so dear money results from central banking action okay when for example india central bank the reserve bank of india raises the rate of interest the member banks will borrow less from the rbi so in class 9 uh, i hope uh, you remember the bank rate yes so all the uh, central banks okay uh, cb means the central bank they give loans to the commercial banks all the commercial banks okay and suppose the central bank gives uh, 100 rupees loan to the commercial bank to any commercial bank and when the commercial bank will repay this 100 rupees it will have to pay an additional interest suppose 2% okay so this 2% is the rate of interest rate of interest okay now when this rate of interest is increased by the central bank okay that means what the commercial bank if they take loan from the central bank then they will have to pay more as interest yes that means the cost of borrowing is expensive now for the commercial bank so they will borrow less okay and since the central bank has increased the rate of interest what the commercial bank will do they will also increase their market rate of interest that means for the general public also they will charge now higher interest rate that is call your dear money means borrowing has become now expensive for both the commercial bank and for the general public also okay because central bank has increased the rate of interest yes the rate this rate of interest from the commercial bank and commercial bank has also increased the rate of interest so borrowing will become less in such situation okay then you see cheap money cheap money is again the opposite of dear money cheap means easy or cheap okay now cheap money uh, when the central bank okay the central bank it reduces the rate of interest on the commercial banks okay on the commercial banks then what happened the commercial bank can borrow more okay from the central bank yes and they also reduce their rate of interest on the general public or the customers so they can also borrow 
more okay so that means when the central bank they reduce the rate of interest the same the commercial bank also they reduce the rate of interest on the general public and because the central bank is charging less rate of interest the commercial bank can take more loan okay and if the commercial banks they take more loan they can also give more loan to the other people they can lend more to the other people yes so that is cheap money money has become cheap then you see black money okay now black money is that particular money which a person an individual is supposed to pay tax as a tax to the government but he is hiding that particular amount of money that that particular tax money which is supposed to be paid to the government that is basically called your black money and because of black money uh, our economic system is suffers a lot because we all know that government how does the government earn income from the tax that we pay is not it and if we do not pay the tax then automatically government's income will be less and if government income is less then government then what will happen government cannot take more uh, kind of a uh, developmental activities also okay so you see that is basically called your black money suppose if i am supposed to pay off my income suppose is 1 lakh and i am supposed to pay 10000 as your what tax but if i am paying only 8000 that means that 2000 which i am not paying as a tax that is my black money okay and it affects the government's income a lot okay then you see high powered money okay high powered money that is the money which is being uh, supplied by the monetary authority now monetary authority means the central bank okay and in our country the central bank is the reserve bank of india so uh, out of the total supply money supply in the country that part which is under the direct control of the country's central bank is high powered money okay so it is supplied or by, uh, by the or it is Uh, provided by the central bank of india okay that is called high power money so that is these are the types of uh, money or classifications of money all of you uh, you go through this okay